Vaseth, you're you're in trouble. Calling you out. Are we are we gonna, gonna put all the blame on Vaseth? I think that's fair. Yeah. It's Vaseth. Right. It's always Vaseth. Anything Japan is Vaseth. Here we go. So we got Palutena coming out against Ness again. Luca, one of the top Ness mains in Australia. He's going up against Palutena in Seagull Joe. Seagull Joe using a lot of uh, Palutena at our locals yeah. uh, has shifted away from Wolf for a lot of different reasons. Well, I, I noticed that Joe was very, he admitted it to himself, he admitted it on, you know, social media. I've gotten complacent, you know what yes. I mean? Like, I, I kind of hit a, a skill ceiling, if you will, and I'm okay with that because it gets me far enough, you know, it gets me far enough. But I want to sure. go further, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And I think, you know, one of the reasons you're really seeing this Palu come into play is because he understands I play so many characters already, why not elevate them to a higher level? And Absolutely. Palutena is one of the best in the game. Super good with his playstyle too, because he wants to just use very strong normals, kind of box you out, create this wall. And I was thinking this might be tough for Luko because sort of similar, there is a set at uh, EVO yeah. where there's a very strong Wario player from Australia named Didi, uh, who did not perform well against the Buzz at all. But he did, I believe, get second at MSM beating uh, very strong players like I'm Hip, beating Caraflex, uh. very good. But the problem is, I think Australia has a really hard time against players that want to put up this wall play defensive, because Australia really does kind of hold forward in a lot of matchups. Sure. And I think a player like Seagull or like DeBuzz is really tough because they play so defensive oh, and they let you come to them. Absolutely freaking Lutely. In fact, Seagull just, he eats that up, right? He yep. wants you to come at him so you can have that counter play waiting and you're gonna see the advantage he'll get a lot. So for Luko, it's gonna be interesting to see if he kind of adapt on the fly, maybe slow it down a tad bit and get in a position to find some more success. I get up attack, getting Joe out of that precarious situation. Good stuff. D1 flexing on me for a moment, but he's uh, gotten out of the shot, thank God. 105 right now on Seagull Joe and just oh, rolling over Luco. Yeah, that's tough. Good day, Mike. <laughs> I don't know how that applied, but... <laughs> that's... Oh, God. See ya. Good back here, mate. How about that? Well done, yeah. More apple football? Nice back. I got you. He's going to try to go for the back throw, but it's not going to KO PS2. Just such a big stage. He's going to try to throw out the down smash. Uh oh Going to get percent, but no KO as Luko just struggling. And this is what I was worried about, man. I felt like Australia, a very strong region, but ha will have trouble against sort of even our mid-level players that just kind of play in a different way because they are very sort of insulated uh, sort of community. And because of that, I feel like they have a lot of, um, not to call anybody out, but like a Sabrick who will do very well in their own region, but really struggle against new people. Facts, 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 facts. That's definitely the, the kind of the, the issue we're seeing here with Luko. Yeah. I mean, and don't get it twisted. Like, we know he's a good player, but Seagull, again, it's almost like the, maybe one of the worst opponents to go up against yeah, when no you're somebody who just wants to be aggressive. Yeah. I'm not sure if they have any super top level uh, Palutena experience. I do believe uh, Smesty plays a little bit of Palutena, but it's Ooh, just sweet. the secondary. Um, don't think Palutena is especially popular over there. Let's see, gets the thunder into the fire, but it's not going to land. 124, Seagull again just super comfortable lead. Yeah, I mean, he knows he's one hit away from just kind of wrapping this up. So, for Luko, you're kind of thinking, okay, what counter pick are we looking to go to? Yeah. Might try to think about a different nice. character. Good for it, Aaron. He's That'll so do good it. At, like, his convert, like, I, every time I see Joe play, like, he's really good at kind of getting that sweep and then following up perfectly. Yeah. Well, it's not especially difficult just because Politano, like that, that lasts so long. You're right, going right, to see right, it right. here. You can see the two frame. I'm just and saying, if you're in that situation, you know what he's going for. Say, yeah, and Luca keeps uh, air dodging to the ledge. So you're right. Yeah, Seagull just prioritizing that, covering it, because Ness's air dodge is almost like another jump. Yeah. And you can tell Luco just not ready for it as we're going to game two. Palutena staying with it. No Wolf here. And I know Seagull said that he wanted to play a bit more Wolf, try to get back to his roots, because the Palutena was not popping off especially hard at Xanadu. Uh, but it seems to be doing a lot for him here. I mean, he did get an opportunity to play Wolf. They got third and broad doubles. There you go. No? That'll well do done. It. Yeah. yeah. That'll do it. Hey, you know what? Smash Con. Got a medal. Wolf in any capacity is good. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay, close. I was, I was yeah. a little shook, man. That PK Thunder was moving. Is Tantal still here? Tant and I actually got second in Brawl Doubles, and we got medals last year, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's oh, get yeah, it. Oh, yeah, they did get medals. Pure see gold, baby. Yeah. I did see that. 78 so. to, yeah, it looks like these guys are trading back and forth, but Luko already doing better. Uh, maybe, you know, it takes a little bit more time to warm up. I like the upbeat of the ledge, because he was consistently air dodging, and I felt like, I feel like Australian players have these habits that can sort of, 
Uh, oh, that was so smart, Yeah, super bro. good, super I, good. That was so smart. I'm just going to pressure on the ledge, then fool you by rolling mine. I understand that quick spot. It almost seemed like Joe didn't get the immediate punish either. Yes, yeah. But stayed, he waited. Yeah, he stayed, stayed patient and still got rewarded. That was nuts. A lot of Ooh. down smashes, and eventually it's going to end there. up in a KO. And just like that, Luko looking much stronger, using his second jump to come back. We're going to see an air dodge to the ledge. Yeah, and you can't keep doing that accidentally teching off the ledge, I believe. But he's OK. He's just really having trouble getting off this ledge back onto the stage. Tex again, wow. but he's got nowhere to go. Bro, he has been banished to the right side of this stage. <laughs> And it is not getting any easier. Credits to Seagull Joe. A ton of pressure yielding him a very solid lead right here. And I think a lot of lesser players would like go out there and try to force the issue. The issue. But I think Seagull is so good at just planting his feet, saying, no, you come to me. Yeah. He does not want to go out there and push up his advantage. And beautiful back air there for Seagull Joe. Yeah, this is one stock away from Seagull Joe advancing through the winner side of things. And he is looking just so clean right now. Luko. I know you came a long distance, my man, but you should have bought a different strat with you as well because it is not working out at all. Yeah. Seagull just keeping him pinned down. And you can definitely tell Luko, like, he knows what he's doing. He's not a bad player by any means. It's just Joe just maybe the perfect character, perfect countermeasures are really just excelling right now. Yeah, he just is absolutely dominated that last match. Weird forward smash there. Yeah, and another, yeah, he's got no jump, but Seagull is just going to eat that up. Just has him boxed to the ledge, and he cannot get off this. 95% of this set has been played on the right side of the stage. And it will continue to be played on the right side. This is just like a, this match is just like a sleeper hold. It's like a million dollar dream. Just, he's just <laughs> got him on the right side. Luko cannot get out. Yeah, another air dodge yeah, to the ledge. Sure. Maybe a little bit of frustration there. And you, know. you gotta imagine that was definitely the case. I mean, yeah. you know, and I get it too, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to pretend like I don't understand, but that's definitely gonna be a situation where if, nine, as you said, if, if 85, 90% of the match, that's where it's being held, yeah, yeah, you're gonna get a little tight at some point, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you, yeah. you get mad at yourself at some point, like, I should be able to overcome this. I sure. should be able to find a, a way around it, and it just, it's not happening.